North Carolina Central University was founded by Dr. James E. Shepard as the National Religious Training School and Chautauqua for the Colored Race. Chautauqua was an educational movement that originated in the Northeast. The school was chartered in 1909 as a private institution and opened on July 5, 1910. The school was sold and reorganized in 1915 becoming the National Training School, which supported black teachers' development in the Jim Crow era, a time when black education was underfunded by Southern states at both the lower and upper level. Becoming a state-funded institution in 1923, the school was renamed as Durham State Normal School for Negroes. In 1925, the General Assembly converted the institution into the North Carolina College for Negroes dedicating it to the offering of liberal arts education and the preparation of teachers and principals of secondary schools offering a four-year curriculum. It was the nation's first state-supported liberal arts college for black students. The 1969 General Assembly designated the institution as one of the state's regional universities and the name was changed to North Carolina Central University. Since 1972, NCCU has been a constituent institution of the University of North Carolina system. On July 1, 1972, the state's four-year colleges and universities were joined to become the Consolidated University of North Carolina, with 16 individual campuses headed by a single president and governed by the University of North Carolina's Board of Governors. However, each campus was led by a separate chancellor and a campus-specific Board of Trustees. The campus is located about a mile south of downtown Durham and about three miles east of Duke University. The school has an enrollment of nearly 65,000 students. U.S. News and World Report ranks NCCU at number 11 on its 2020 list of best HBCUs.